हेलो डियर स्टूडेंट दिस इज रंजीत पाराशर हेयर एंड आई विश यू ऑल ऑफ यू आर सेफ एट होम ड्यूरिंग दिस पैंडेमिक एरा एंड आई विल टीच यू द फर्स्ट लेसन ऑफ पोएम द रोड नॉट टेकन दिस इज द फर्स्ट पोएम ऑफ द बुक बिहाइंड फॉर द नाइन्थ क्लास डियर स्टूडेंट्स This poem The Road Not Taken is written by Robert Frost who is an American poet and uh, it was first published in 1916 Dear student the road not taken means not a simple road this symbolize the decision that has not been taken very simply before going for further discussion i will ask you a couple of question first one what would you choose if you have a given rasgulla and laddu very simple everyone loves to eat rasgulla rather than eating laddu why it is because it is smooth easy to digest and uh, tastier too why why we do not uh, choose or select the laddu it is because it is a uh, slightly tough to digest same as there the road not taken symbolize the decision that has not been taken then why it is because of the challenging the poet here described that in our life starting from the birth to throughout the life we face many challenges and even you can say that every step of life there is a challenge and you have to admit it face it so now this is the life challenging process the poet robert frost described that through this poem the road not taken means the decision had been not taken actually the poet was at the diversion or the diverge at the place where the path fork into two fork means to diverge diverge means the point where two paths divert in many direction or even the two direction means separated diverge means to separate dear students this is very important in terms of our life or except of our life poet is at the diversion and uh, he had to choose the single one there is a two path one define the easiest path that everyone moves towards it look at this this is the easiest and smoothest one but the other one is the path of uncertainty means woody woody path grassy path rocky path the poet is at the diverge and he is confused to choose the path he is not uh, confirmed that which path has been chosen by him or uh, or not at last he decided to choose the path the toughest one why this poem signifies that and uh, i will teach you why the poet choose the toughest one okay let's uh, start this poem dear students two roads diverge in a yellow wood two roads look at this figure two roads diverged in a yellow wood yellow wood yellow wood signifies the autumn season you all have seen there in autumn season the leaves comes down or fall down when they turn into yellow it is because of the harsh cold winter so it is the autumn season when the poet was standing at the diversion 
एंड ही इज कंफ्यूज टू डिसाइड द बेस्ट पाथ टू रोड सेपरेटेड इन अलो वुड एंड सॉरी आई कुड नॉट ट्रेवल बोथ द पोएट जस्ट कंफ्यूज एंड ही फील सॉरी ही फील सॉरी नॉट फॉर द दैट द चूजिंग द स्टफेस्ट पाथ बट फॉर दैट ही कुड नॉट ट्रेवल ऑन बोथ पाथ very simple a single man cannot travel on both path so the here poet also describing that two roads where it separated in yellow wood and he cannot travel on both path because of the different direction and be one traveler long eyes too as a traveler he was standing at the diversion point and looked down one as far as i could to where it bent in the undergrowth 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 means undergrowth means dense forest here undergrowth defines the dense forest remember that the poet was crossing through the forest and uh, this is very simple to say that uh, the path is covered with the dense forest or the grassy path so again and look down one as far as i could to where it bent in the undergrowth the poet was watching the both path and uh, the path where it is dense forest is a look uncertainty and uh, as far as he could see it looks woody woody means forest yani poet jahan tak bhi dekh raha hai wo sabhi ke sabhi jo hain wo woody dikhai de rahe hain forest dikhai de rahe hain poet asmanjas ki sthiti mein baitha hua hai ki use kaun sa rasta choose karna chahiye aur wo jahan bhi dekhta hai jahan tak uski drishti jati hai to wo pura ka pura rasta woody dikhai deta hai fear of uncertainty dikhai deta hai तो ये फर्स्ट स्टेंजा था एंड नाउ सेकेंड स्टेंजा देन टुक द अदर जस्ट एज फेयर एंड हैविंग पर हैप्स द बेटर क्लेम क्लेम मीन्स चॉइस नाउ द पोएट हैज इन द सेकेंड स्टेंजा द पोएट हैड डिसाइडेड दैट फॉर्म डिसाइडेड दैट ही वुड चूज द सेकेंड पाथ वाई वाई डिड पोएट चूज द सेकेंड पाथ दो इट इज अनसर्टेनिटी fear of uncertainty or you can say that uh, this is the toughest one why didn't he use this the smoother one it is because he want to reveal something new <clears throat> he want to just uh, uh, find out something new information then took the other just as fair then he decided <clears throat> then he decided that this is the best choice to choose the second one that is the toughest path <coughs> and having perhaps the better claim and he thought that this is the better claim this is the better choice to choose the path where it is uncertainty where there is a different kinds of information would be new revealing things because it was grassy and wanted we are now the next line suggest that it was grassy and wanted we are grassy and wanted we are means uh, very simply had not been used how did the poet confirm that this path has not been taken by anyone else it is because of this grassy one suppose that this is the very smoother one it is because the people when travel through it uh, the grassy path uh, completely trodden back but uh, this one has a grassy woody it it, it is because uh, no one has travel through it and the poet had decided to the toughest one it and uh, he select this one it is because of the challenging path he loved to challenge path he loved to use challenges though as far as that passing there had warned them really about the same 
the poet expressed that though it is an extremely challenging path and every traveler every tra traveler means passing there means the traveler or passing by the person who passes through this path has a some fear of uncertainty that is why they haven't chosen this path in third stanza and both the morning equally lay morning equally lay means at the particular time when the poet was standing at the point of diversion both path look same in leaves no step had trod and black trod and black means it is because had not <coughs> chosen by because of the fear of uncertainty and both the morning equally lay in leaves no step and trod and black both the path look same in the morning and uh, there is a fear of uncertainty oh i kept the first for another day the poet decided that i will i would travel the easiest path on the next time this is the time to reveal the new things and i must go to the path of uncertainty it will give us something new it will reveal new treasure for all of us dear students the next line stated as yet knowing how way leads on the way i doubt if i should ever come back the poet expressed his feeling here he doubted if i should ever come back poet ko sandeh hai ki kya vah wapas laut kar aa payega it is because this path is the fee completely uncertain no one has travel yet but he didn't doubt on himself he doubt on the uncertainty of the treasure that he would be revealing reveal during this his journey yet knowing how way leads on the way yani ye na jante hue ki ye rasta kis aur jayega bas is cheez ki unhe thodi si chinta hai i doubt if i should ever come back that is why he has slightest slightest doubt that whether he would come or not wo is cheez se chintit nahi hai ki wo laut kar aa payenge wapas ki nahi bas unhi chinta is cheez ki hai ki us raste mein kuch nayi cheeze unhe milegi ki nahi milegi is duniya ko new reveal milega ki nahi milega that is why he has just doubted on himself on the next stanza i shall be telling this with a sigh somewhere ages and ages hands ages and ages means time to time or period of time a longer period of time you can say that i shall be telling his this with a sigh somewhere ages and ages hands aur main yani poet keh sak keh raha hai ki main ye keh sakta hu chip jaise jaise samay aage badhega aur log jab iske bare mein janenge as the time passed and the people will came to know that uh, two roads diverge in a wood and i i here refer, refers to the poet not i for ranjit parashar it refers for the poet two roads diverge in wood and i the poet i took the one less travel by and that was the made all difference dear students this is the last point last quote of the po poet that describe the whole meaning of this poem very simple i have chosen the least traveled path maine sabse kam chala hua rasta choose kiya it is because i love challenge i means poet love challenge the poet wants to express his feelings that this is a very common thing to drift towards the easiest way to drift or move through the very simple things but it is very interesting to choose the difficult one 
इट इज बिकॉज इट मे रिवेल न्यू थिंग्स इट विल रिवेल ट्रेजर एंड गिव यू अ ग्रेट काइंड ऑफ इंफॉर्मेशन नॉलेज द पोएट हेयर वॉन्ट्स टू एक्सप्लेन दैट यू मस्ट हैव टू चूज समथिंग न्यू यू हैव टू मेक योर सेल्फ इन द वर्ल्ड सो डियर स्टूडेंट along with this message i will also give you message what is simple things simple things means someone will give you food someone gives you money someone cares you your parents your friends your relatives what but what about you if you are not doing anything else remember that everyone who got success in life has faced challenge even though me you and even though any kinds of scientists suppose that uh, no albert einstein he also faced challenges i have also faced challenges you are also facing challenge during this lockdown period so dear students never put down yourself choose the best and toughest one so that you will get new things new kind of information and i hope you all of you are understand about it thank you have a good day